recording when you're ready. Well, good morning, everyone. It's Monday, July 3rd, first Monday of the new month, and welcome to Mentor Monday. It's going to be a fun, fun day. We're celebrating the 247th birthday of our of America tomorrow, but today we're we're in, in here working, so it's good to see everybody. Hi, Claudia. Great to co-host with you as always. Gosh, you and I have done how many now? A thousand <laughs> Zooms over the years, uh, co-hosting and co-hosting. Claudia and I are, uh, she's my sister from a different mother. So, uh, but uh, we welcome, welcome everyone as you start rolling in here from all over the world. I see uh, we've got some from South America, South Africa, Kenya, uh, America, United States, of course. And so just keep coming in if you're new this is your first or second or a relatively new to this month mentor Monday meeting. Please raise your hand or introduce yourself in the chat and tell us where you're, you're calling in from. But Claudia, what's happening in Canada to kick off? You had Canada Day just the other day. Yes, Michael, oh. that's exactly what is happening. It's really cool for us because we get the first and we almost jump it until the fourth because today is a holiday here. It's Monday Welcome. holiday. So we did fireworks and barbecues, and it was a beautiful weather. A little bit of rain, but it made it nice. But mm -hmm. uh, the pools in Canada, even with the sun, get really nice. So it was awesome. Fireworks are great. And tomorrow, this is the interesting thing, I'm going to head to the States so I can see the U.S. fireworks. I was talking to Jillian earlier, and she's like, I'm going to the States tomorrow. And I'm like, me too. And I'm going to watch a movie. And she said, me too. And then we ended up going to watch the same movie in Niagara <laughs> Falls. And she goes, I'm going to go to the park and watch the fireworks. I'm like, I'll do that too. So yeah. double fireworks for Canadians. <laughs> so back to you, Michael. Well, well anyway, I was going to we'll get this thing kicked off in just a few minutes. But Claudia, this morning, actually, she woke me up this with a text this morning, but uh, I slept in today. Anyway, but she said, Mike, before we get started today, I really would love for you to kind of share your story uh, of why you joined For Life. So I'm going to take just a couple minutes and share um, my quick story. Many of you know me, some of you don't. Uh, I was blessed, gosh, more than I deserve with a wonderful career as a restaurant tour. I owned restaurants in Hawaii and Colorado and um, had a great career. I mean, we, it helped me raise a family and we had a great lifestyle. But in 2008, when we had uh, some, many of you here in the United, well, around the world actually, will remember that major recession in the world and in particularly here in the United States. And in 2008, a very good friend of mine, um, Greg, who actually I was a roommate in college or in the early seventies at Grossmont College in San Diego, we attended called me up. He was a very success, successful home builder in Southern California. And Dave, you'll know, understand this. You probably remember what happened to the housing market in 2008 in yep. Southern California. Um, he called me up, said, Mike, I found something. I know you, I, he, he and I knew about our businesses. We always shared. I, he knew I was struggling in the restaurants because of the recession. He said, I found something you ought to take a look at. And I trusted Greg. I liked Greg and I had a lot of respect for Greg, which made a big, so of course I was gonna to listen to him. And he shared an opportunity with me in network marketing. I knew absolutely nothing about it, but based on what he showed me and my trust for him, I immediately said, I'm in, count me in. And then he said, well, listen, uh, I'm in, Col and I was living in Colorado at the time. And uh, he said, listen, we're gonna have a meeting here uh, in about, it wasn't tomorrow, but it was in, in a day and a half. So I literally drove 16 hours to Temecula, California, which is north of San Diego. It's kind of the Southern California wine country. And I, we get into a room and I'm looking around, it's exciting. And there's probably 800 people in the room. And I'm going, whoa, this is exciting. And Dave, you'll appreciate this. I'm sitting there. We're sitting in the second row, by the way. And that's all a good point. If you ever go to the meetings, sit in the second or the first row. And um, anyway, Dave, you'll appreciate who walked up on stage. There's a gentleman Paul by the name. Paul Orbison. Exactly. <laughs> and Paul Orbison, I didn't know who he was. Dave knows who he is. Knew who he was then, probably. And it was the start of my network marketing career. And uh, I that next year, 2009, and this will kind of go to the topic of what we're going to talk about today, network marketing, the, the past and the future. 
that next next year, guys, I drove, I believe it was 35,000 miles through around Colorado, Wyoming, uh, New Mexico, and North Texas, attending meetings at hotels and in people's homes. And 35,000 miles, and I was blessed. We, I had some success, not knowing what I was doing in network marketing, but I just followed the leaders. I'd gone to that meeting and understood it. And fast forward to 2015, another great friend of mine, Monica and Nick, who live in San Diego, and I don't, they don't live too far from Dave and Gabby, called me up and she said, Mike, I found something you ought to take a look at. Again, I liked them. I trusted them and respected them. And she said, she goes, Mike, I know you've been doing a lot of work uh, with um, children in, in developing countries. And this company I, I want to share with you has a product I think you're really going to be impressed with. And it was Fortify. And it had transfer factor in it. I didn't know what transfer factors were. But she said, oh, you ought to take a look at this product and the programs they're doing and feeding millions of children malnutrition, malnourished children around the world. So my story was interesting. I came to For Life because of the product Fortify. Which, and I didn't know anything about transfer factors, but again, I trusted Claudia. And that time though, however, I had some other things in my life I didn't join right away. I didn't sign up that day, but she kept following up with me and other friends of mine were ended up joining her team, Anthony in Colorado and some other friend, good friends of mine it was a few months, and by the way, she also put Dave on the phone with me, and I had to, got to talk to Dave about, and he mentioned what he was doing in Africa and uh, with For Life. And so I kept in touch with him, and it was a few months later that I made the decision to, to join For Life. And again, Judy and I jumped in the car, didn't drive quite as far, but we, we were living in, Col I was living in Texas then. We drove to Salt Lake City, and Anthony was there, Dave flew up there, got to tour the corporate office. Dave introduced us to the whole corporate staff, tour the, form of the, uh, the, the manufacturing plant. And again, it engulfed myself, the knowledge and the community and the team that Dave was building around the world. So that was my journey into to network marketing and into For Life. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, the topic of the network marketing, the, the past and the future. It's it's really transitioned over the years. And who better to talk about that than Mr. Dave Daughtry and his beautiful wife, Gabby. I believe she's here today too. So Dave, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Welcome, Dave. Happy 4th of July week, America, and happy just global to all of you guys from all over the world. Welcome. Dave, take it away, buddy. Thank you, Jay Michael. You know, I always love to hear the stories. Um, you know, Paul Orberson, you mentioned his name and he was definitely one of the icons you know, in our industry. Paul actually made a million dollars in one month uh, in this industry. And Dave, unfortunately, he, he act, and Dave, he actually ended up doing that for, he was the first, I think, to make a million in a month. And he did it for 16 consecutive months. Yeah. So, and I mean, made a lot of money. You're, it made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, the, co the company was Excel Telecommunications. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, we have a saying in this industry, high tech, no check. Now, Paul obviously defied those odds, making what he made, you know, in that short a period of time, but Excel is no longer around. So even though there are a few people that did make a lot of money, you know, the longevity wasn't there simply because telephone companies, how, how are you going to compete with the, 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 the big AT&Ts and, you know, the Sprints and, and, and these other big companies? And then how are you going to go international? It's only a, a domestic market, you know? And so... Uh, and that's what I want to talk about today, network marketing in general. Um, so just so you all have a, a little bit of history and understand, because I feel that one of my responsibilities is to help everybody become the best networker they can be. Now, I love network marketing. It does have a bad rap, a bit of a bad name. Some people call it pyramid schemes, you know, um, and yeah. It's like anything in life. People try it, you know. If, how many people have tried playing a musical instrument and never ended up being a professional musician? I think all of us just about, you know. At least you played a flute in school or something, you know. But the point is, we get introduced to things throughout life, and some things we gravitate to, and we we find that we enjoy it, we do well at it, we excel, 
And there's other things we don't. That's just life. But let's talk about the history of network marketing real quick. Does anybody know? I'm curious. Raise your hand. The very first network marketing co or the very first direct sell slash network marketing company. All right, Jillian, you have your hand raised there. Go ahead. Let me unmute you there. Yeah, I got okay. Uh, it's my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, because you're more wiser than I am. Um, <laughs> I was just going to say the other word, but I was saying, um, I believe it's Avon. Avon was the company for women, and they were around before the women could vote. That's very, tr very true. And they were around before women could vote. But we have to go back before that. It was 1886, you guys. 1886, the California Perfume Company, which later changed their name in 1939 to Avon. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's correct. But California Perfume Company. And then there's some others, Neutralite, uh, Holiday Magic. There's a few companies as you go into the, the 1920s and 30s. And then the co a concept came along from um, uh, uh, the DeVos family and Van Andel, which was to take uh, uh, biodegradable uh, soaps, you know, cleaners. And that became the American way, which today we call Amway, all right? So, you know, and they're of course, one of the giants doing over $8 billion a year in business and sales, but direct sales and network marketing goes way, 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 way back, all right? So when someone tries to say that it's a pyramid, this goes back to before the 1900s, you know? So it's like, come on, get real about, you know, about direct sales and network marketing. So I'm real big on analogies. I'm real big on trying to give examples to people so they understand. And I try to explain to people a bit about network marketing. And it really is just relationship, you know, marketing. That's what it is. It's built on relationships. And it's building a team, building a network of people. And it's no different, honestly, structurally, all right? Structurally, it's no different than any other organization, government, military, corporations. There's, there's, but there, there's, a, there's a difference. So those are pyramid, all right, structure. In other words, look, how many presidents does your country have? One. And then below that, You've got different cabinet members, and the deeper you go, the more people there are, and the less they get paid. Of course, unless they're crooked politicians, and they probably make more. But nevertheless, corporations, same way. You've got a CEO, then you're gonna have multiple amount of a president, and then you got your vice presidents of different markets, you know, and you've got your regional directors, and then you've got your district directors. And as you go down the pyramid, there's more people, and they make less money. So. When someone says pyramid to me, what structure in Egypt has been around for millennia? All right, the pyramids. It's a structure that, that has stood the test of time. And that's why network marketing is based on that structure as well. You're just building a structure. But here's one of the things that is, is, makes the biggest difference in the world in our industry. There's not just enough room for one person at the top. See, when I talk to people at network marketing and they have a job, they're employed by a company, corporation, or even government, you know, or a publicly traded company, like an airline or something, I ask them, what's the chance of you becoming the CEO or president of your company? And they laugh and they say, well, next to none. Here, everybody decides where they want to fit in the network. You want to be a builder? Great, work and become a builder. Well, I'm talking about in four life now, builder, builder, elite. You want to become a diamond? Great. You want to become a platinum? Great. There's enough room at the top for anybody that wants to get there. Anybody. It doesn't matter your, your uh, education that you have. You don't have to have a PhD or, or a college degree. I don't have a college degree. You know, I went to college for one semester and quit because I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to build my dream, all right? doesn't matter your color, doesn't matter where you live in the world, especially today with globalization, all right? So network marketing, really, I consider it the business you know, of the century, of the millennium, because this is a business anybody can learn. It's all about skills. Now, 
I want to just kind of you guys to, to hang with me for a minute here as I talk about how I look at network marketing in a way. All right. Let's pretend that there's this beautiful penthouse. All right. And a, and a, a skyscraper. And at the top of this penthouse, the view is spectacular. You can just see for just miles and miles away, just beautiful view. You've got the whole floor of this beautiful penthouse. This thing costs just millions and millions of dollars. And that's your dream. You want to be, have that penthouse. You want to be at the top of the world. You want to have that view. Helicopter lands on top, takes you anywhere you want to go. All right. Well, to get to that penthouse, though, it requires some effort. It all begins at the very bottom the entrance on the street. And that entrance is a revolving door. That's how I look at this business. It's a revolving door. People come, people go. Some people stay, some people leave. They come back, they go, they come back, they go. It's like I've mentioned this one, one lady has been contacting me over the last five, six years. All right. So imagine in the lobby down below this building, there's a lot of activity, a lot of movement, people sitting down, chit-chatting and so forth. All right. That's kind of how this business is. People come in the door and they start you know, getting involved, talking to others, meeting others, going to conventions, going to the rallies, going to the events, and they, they meet people. All right. Then there are those that decide they want to get to that penthouse and they start climbing. There is no elevator, no elevator in the lobby. Now, I recently stayed in, in, in Miami uh, it used to be the Conrad Hotel. They turned it into an Airbnb now, uh, believe it or not, the condominiums. But the reception was up on the 21st floor. You had to go to, to the 21st floor. to the, That's where the reception was. So imagine that this, if you want to get to that penthouse, you've got to climb the stairs to get to the reception. When you get to the reception, you now get to get on an elevator. That's how this business is. You're going to climb a lot of stairs to move up, to get to Builder, to get to Diamond, to get to Diamond Elite, to get to Presidential, and Presidential Elite, all right? But as you climb, it takes a lot of energy. It does take work. But you know what? You keep making progress a step at a time. Some people get tired and they sit down in the stairwell. Some people start walking down because they just figure they can't make it. That's life. It happens. I wish everybody would be a platinum. I want everybody to be a platinum. But who am I to judge? So I'm here to help anybody that wants to be a platinum. I never judge anybody. And when I try, when I do, I'm always wrong. All right. Hey, Cloud, if you can help me. I know we've got some people that are in the uh, waiting room that uh, actually there's three, three Sarahs. So my point is this. Just vision and vision with me that here's this penthouse. You came into the lobby. What are you going to do now? You're going to climb the stairs to get to the reception. And let's say the reception is bronze. You want to get to bronze. Once you get to bronze, you're going to give, get a key to the elevator. Now you get to walk over and push a button. And you get to go up. You're standing still. You're not working as hard, but you're going up. And that's how this business is. Sure, it does require some effort, even when you're a bronze and a gold and a platinum, you still work, but the work becomes a bit different. You spend more of your time serving your people, all right, working with your people and your people's people and your people's people's people and so forth as you build a downline. But it's like a rocket in the beginning. You're going to burn 80% of your fuel just getting out of the atmosphere. And that's how I kind of look at this business of network marketing, all right? So... I never know when someone signs up what's going to happen. You know, hopefully they decide they want to become a great networker and it becomes a career. It changes their life and they make millions and millions and millions of dollars in this industry. Okay. Now let's talk about the characteristics of a networker. What's a networker? People ask me all the time. They say, Dave, what do you do? And I say, I'm a networker. And I do that on purpose because they don't know what a networker really is. And they'll explain to them, well, I have a home-based business, so I market health and wellness products right from my home, and I teach people how to do the same, and I built a network all over the world, all right? So I'm a networker. I love it because I don't have any of the headaches. I don't have any of the risk 
of running a traditional business. I don't have to pay overhead. I don't have rent. I don't have employees. I don't have to pay all those taxes. I don't have to pay uh, for inventory. None of that. No licensing. I just build relationships with people from my home using the tools that we have from a cell phone app, my computer, social media, but I, I just communicate with people. Some people come in and join the family because they love our products. And then you get into the product a little bit. But I tend to find myself always talking about networking first, all right? Well, when someone's interested, at that point, I go into a different phase. I go into my identification phase, identifying that person, all right? But before I talk about identify, I want to talk about a networker. Are you a networker? Do you consider yourself a good networker? All right. Are you a networker that wants to continue to develop and to grow, you know, to, to challenge yourself, to develop those skills? All right. So what are the characteristics of a networker? None of us went to college to become a networker. No one here has a PhD in network marketing. There doesn't exist that. That doesn't exist. So what is a networker? Well, first of all, it's someone that has vision. You have to look ahead because you have to envision yourself having people in your network all over the world. All right. A networker is someone that also has what I call tenacity. Why is tenacity necessary? Because most people quit. Why do they quit? Because someone told them that it doesn't work and they believed them. Or someone says, oh, in fact, I've even had somebody say they're afraid they might go to prison because it's a pyramid. See, so, and they believe that, you see? So a lot of times it's just, it's things that they just don't know, all right? But the tenacity is important because let's face it, there's a lot of crocodiles out there. And the crocodiles, they want to tear your arms and legs off, all right? And unfortunately, the sad part is Many of those crocodiles tend to be those that should care about us the most, family, friends, neighbors. I have a guy signed up, and you might remember him, Marco. I love Marco. You know, we're good friends. We talk, I just saw him the other day recently. You know, he joined, and, you know, basically people were telling him, why would you do that? You know, why, why, you know, why, why did you go from being a police captain, retired police captain, to doing something like that? In other words, it's beneath you. Why would you do that? Why would you join multi-level marketing? They don't understand. They don't know. You see, this, this industry of network marketing has made more millionaires, this model, than any other business model in existence. You see? So, yes, anybody can become a millionaire. But you have to have the characteristics of a good networker to get there. And tenacity is one of those. Otherwise, people are going to convince you to quit. And then what? You go back to the same thing you were doing before, and who knows what you'll do, all right? So vision, tenacity, persistence, okay? Endurance. What does that mean? It means that when you've been in a company like I have, and I'm going to brag for a minute, for 25 years, you keep going. And here's what I find interesting. Even after 25 years of four life, sure, I've taken breaks here and there. I've traveled to 106 countries. I've been to China. Took 2011. Did a lot of traveling in 2011. But the point is this. You find yourself falling in love with networking. Why? This may sound crazy. I've made many, many, many millions of dollars well over $30 million, all right? But when I think about it, the relationships I've developed around the world really are of greater value. The skills I've learned are of greater value. You can lose money. You can lose health. You can even lose freedom. Look at what happened with COVID. Everybody was locked in their homes. Nobody could go out. You can lose a lot of things in life. But nobody can take your skills. Nobody. Those are yours forever. So you keep working on them. And that's what I challenge myself all the time. 
I want to be better. So it doesn't matter. I, I don't measure it all by money anymore. I measure it now by the relationships I've developed. In fact, we've got a couple of new friends on here now. Um, we've got, uh, we had Felipe Bajos who had joined us from Brazil. We had a few Brazilians join. Uh, I think they posted from Brazil, they posted the English one uh, and uh, we'll have the Spanish one, of course, later and they'll probably get on the Spanish one. But the point is this, making the new relationships. All right, that's what I cherish in this business. The skills as well, communication skills, leadership skills, social skills, the skill to find someone and take that individual that you just met and establish a friendship quickly and then establish trust as quickly as you can by showing them you care about them, by showing them that you're interested in their well-being, their success, and that's good leadership too. You see, knowing also that a good leader has to be a good follower. Everyone has to follow before they can lead. And even when you're a leader, you still become a follower in other areas of life. Even me, you know, I've been listening lately to some people in network marketing and I'm following them. I admire them. Everybody has something to offer in this business of network marketing. So I hope that all of you that want to become awesome networkers, challenge yourself. Don't be afraid. Understand also, this comes in with the tenacity, the pain of change is important. Pain exists in anything you do to get good at it and to progress. Take an athlete. Do you think a professional tennis player doesn't have any physical pain? Do you think that that someone who is trying to grow a traditional business doesn't go through emotional pain? Of course they do. Take a musician. You want to play a trumpet. You don't think you can go through a little bit of lip pain? All right. Maybe here in our business, we go through a little bit of throat and tongue pain because we talk so much. That's what we get paid to do. All right. So the point is this. Embrace the pain of change. That's what my mentor told me. When I was 21 years old and I started in this industry, he said, David, you're going to go through a lot of changes. You're going to grow, you're going to develop. And frankly, when he said that to me, I was like, man, I'm so excited that, you know, I actually am going to develop myself. And then I started hanging around people like Jim Rohn. Uh, 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 I was going to events and listening to Zig Ziglar, Mark Victor Hansen, who wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul. You know, and then, of course, Tony Robbins comes along and they start listening to these people and they all have something to offer. So I would encourage all of you, find someone on YouTube or Audible or wherever and listen to them. Get inspired by them. <laughs> it's so easy today to find these people. John Maxwell. I love John Maxwell. You know, Minute with Maxwell every day. Spend a minute with Maxwell. And of course, you get on these as well. Get inspired by listening to myself, Jay Michael, Claudia, J Dr. Ogina, Jacinta. We've got a lot of leaders here. So everyone here can inspire. Gabby's with us right now. A lot of us here can inspire other people. All right. And that's another characteristic of a good networker. You inspire others. You motivate others. And you know what? I don't care where you are. I don't care how experienced you are, you can mentor others, all right? Everyone can be a good mentor. You mentor your children if you have kids, don't you? Don't you teach your, your children? Don't play in the street, all right? Let's get good grades in school, all right? How important the family is. You mentor your kids, you mentor your family. Well, start mentoring others. Now, let's go back to the pain of change. That might be a little different for you. It might be like, I've never done that before. Well, you know what? There was a time you didn't walk either. You learned to do that. You learned to talk, right? You went to school. You learned all kinds of things. Anybody can learn, all right? You can overcome fear. Challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to take a challenge. Don't be afraid to endure the pain of change. But understand, as you go through changes, I find it a bit of a phenomenon that those around you 
when they see all of a sudden you start changing, you start, you know, you're building your network, you become a diamond, you become a presidential diamond, start making a little bit more money, you keep growing, you become a bronze, and then you become a gold, you're way to platinum. You know what happens? All these people around you that never thought you could do it, they start becoming more and more attracted to you. You see, success breeds success. There's something called success by association. And frankly, that's what brought me into network marketing. I wanted to be associated with other people that were successful entrepreneurs. When I saw them driving their fancy cars, traveling the world, making money, being up on stage, talking and so forth, I thought, wow, I was 21, 22 years old. And I, it, maybe it was my, my naivete, my, my ignorance, but I just thought if I hang around these people, it's going to rub off on me. And that's what I did. Now, as you become a better networker, there's different areas you need to focus on. One, knowledge. Understanding the pay plan, for example. Why is the pay plan so important? Well, I did a training with a guy recently in Brazil that he blew my mind. He tore that pay plan inside and out from For Life and started throwing questions at me. Luckily, I answered every one of them perfectly except one. I wasn't quite sure on one question. And this went on for like a week. He kept hitting me and hitting me. I love it when people do that to me. Why? It forces me to find answers. So when I find answers, I take that new bullet that I just gained, the answer to a question, I put it in my pocket, and now I've got that bullet for future reference when somebody says, hey, Dave, I've got a question about the pay plan. They ask me, ah, I got that answer. I remember that. So that's, that's me, all right? I hope that you as well do the same, all right? Challenge yourself. Knowledge creates confidence. Confidence creates action. And action is what creates results in this business. All right. Network marketing is something that's not going to go away. Now, here's the sad part about, I shouldn't say sad, the unfortunate part of our of, of this industry. Anybody, you, Jillian, Claudia, J. Michael, JT, Ivelisse, you know, Kelvin in Tanzania, anybody can start a network marketing company. And many people do. All right. You just simply go get a business license, get a name, and say, Jillian Murray's Network Marketing Company. And they're going to market whatever. Perfumes, you know, many people do it. Unfortunately, they don't have the experience. Network marketing companies are extremely difficult to maintain. You see, because... They're, they're so, it's so volatile. There's so many ups and downs, ups and downs. And it's the way in traditional business as well. How many businesses have had to close down because of COVID? How many had to close down? Jay Michael talked about struggling in the 2008 recession, the Obama recession. Then we've got the today's, risk, today's financial crisis going on. You know, companies, big companies like Tupperware, you know, are in trouble. Well, that's life. Network marketing companies, it's even worse because it's a cash business. You see, the company made a decision in network marketing to not, they take their advertising dollars, so they're not going to advertise on television. They're not gonna do the traditional methods of marketing. You know, no publications, no billboards on the side of the road, no radio. They're paying the public to talk. What happens if the public doesn't talk? What would happen if everybody in For Life just stopped talking about For Life? The company would die. Sure, we've got a big customer base, but they wouldn't grow. And you're not going to maintain your customers forever. You know, people die, they get old, all right? So you have to continuously have some method of marketing. Well, in network marketing, just so you all understand, there's two sides. There's the company, and then there's their partnership with us. That partnership is extremely crucial and important. If one side does not do their job, it collapses. If the company doesn't do their job, and I've seen this happen time and time again, 
Maybe they don't get the products out the door fast enough and the people start getting upset and frustrated. They're waiting so long for product and they quit. They leave because they got to make money. How are you going to market product you don't have? How are you going to sign someone up when they can't get their product? All right. What about paying the commissions? Let's say the company finds itself all of a sudden with too much debt, too much overhead. You know what they do? They change the pay plan. They say, you know what? We got to take some more money back. So we're going to start taking a percentage here, a percentage there. You do that to your distributors. That's the beginning of the end because they see the writing on the wall. You're taking away from them and they're going to, they're going to leave. In our industry, distributors have a choice. None of you are employed by For Life. You can leave. We don't want that. That's why we work hard to develop relationships and help others be successful and serve others. So that partnership is crucial. If the company doesn't do their job, people will leave. Now, what about us? What if we don't do our job? All right. Well, the company can't grow. We don't have sales. We don't have business. We don't get out and hustle and build. The company can't grow. Now, I was in for life when the day when Bianca. Lizenby was crying because they weren't sure if we were going to make it. I had just, frankly, it was my first year in For Life, just joined. And the company wasn't really going anywhere. And they were struggling. And David Lizenby brought us together and made a comment. He just said to us, Look, you guys, I've mortgaged my house to start this company. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to pay the bills without having the sales. And it really hit us all hard. And we realized the importance of getting out there and hustling. I locked myself in my, my where I was living with Gabby. Well, we were living together. We're married now. I moved into her house. Okay. And I took the middle bedroom and turned it into an office. And from eight to faint every day, I was in there hammering the phones. And then on weekends, sometimes Gabby and I would drive to Los Angeles, about a three and a half hour drive to go do a meeting with a gentleman, Carlos Santana, not the musician. And by the way, uh, that downline has multiple bronzes and golds and so forth throughout Latin America, that line, but it began in LA, Los Angeles. And so that's what we did. We willed it, we made it happen. It didn't just happen. So you have to take the business seriously, you guys, if you really want to be successful. This partnership is critical, all right? Both sides have to do their job to get those pistons going, to have a finely tuned engine, and the company continues to grow. That's why I love For Life, by the way. Debt-free company. They, they owe nothing to nobody. All right? Bad grammar, but they don't owe anybody anything. Okay? Well, that's important in today's world. A lot of companies are in debt, and they can't pay their bills, and they're shutting down markets. So keep your eyes and ears open. For other people out there in network marketing, because once a networker, once you've been bitten by the bug and you've tasted some success, you know, the power of this business, you're always a networker. You'll find a company to join. All right. So let's kind of review here real quick. Look in the mirror. All right. And ask yourself a few simple questions. What kind of networker are you? Do you consider yourself a person that wants to grow and develop? Are you willing to do the necessary things to grow and develop? Are you willing to embrace change? Are you willing to overcome fear, challenge yourself? Are you willing to have the tenacity, the persistence, the perseverance to keep going day after day after day? Even when you get tired, maybe you take a little break, you know, for a day and get back in the game, get back on the field, get keep going, keep growing. Keep developing. Are you willing to develop the very skills, all right, throughout your life, whether it's a social skills, whether, whether it's a skill of, of developing friendships and relationships, communication skills, skill to identify someone, how to connect with people, leadership skills. You know, every one of you is an awesome leader, all right? Every one of you has the, the, the capability to be a platinum and to be the best leader you can be to mentor others, to guide others, to inspire others, all right? So what I wanna finish saying today is this. This is much more than a bottle of transfer fact. Sure, at the end of the day, 
when the day comes and you decide that you want to retire into your business, not out of your business, and there's a difference. Retiring doesn't mean, hey, everyone, I'm going to disappear, all right? You never see me again. No, you still make appearances. You still go to conventions. You show up as a guest speaker now and then because you're a gold or platinum, all right? Yeah, you enjoy life. You know, you're making millions of dollars, all right? So it's important to serve people now and then. And yes, this bottle is extremely important because at the end of the day, when the day comes and you do retire into your business, you're going to have a lot of customers. You're going to have a lot of distributors. You want them to continuously use the products. Why? Because For Life produces quality products, products that bring value into the lives of others, products that bring results when people use them. They're scientifically proven, like this recent video that I love that shows the, the increased natural killer cell activity in the presence of a threat when you use transfer factor as opposed to not using transfer factor. If you've not seen that video, it's, it's going around out there. It's a corporate video, but it's amazing to see the difference. You know, when you activate your immune cells by using transfer factor or you take Rio Vida because you believe in antioxidants or you take energy go sticks, which I take every day. I love it because it gives me a great boost of energy, especially in the afternoon. You know, I do these zoom calls all through the day. So come late afternoon. Sometimes I, Take a go sticks. I love our products. I'm sure you all love our products as well. So what is our responsibility? Scout, hunt, fish, go find people. All right. Jeff Altgilbers and I, when we first, when I joined, then I signed Jeff up. We would message each other all the time. And we would finish our message by saying happy hunting. All right. We were out hunting, looking for new people. He's hunting, I'm hunting. And now we've got Claudia's hunting and J. Michael and, 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 and Gabby. And, and we've got Dr. Gina and Jessica and people all over here. Carol, you know, Wangechi, everyone's hunting. That's what we do. So happy hunting, okay? We talk to people. Sometimes we talk about our product. Sometimes we talk about the opportunity. I encourage you to talk about both, which comes first. You're a good networker. You'll figure out which comes first. When you talk to someone, it's all about their needs, right? If they've got a health crisis, product will come first. You'll realize that as you talk to them about health and wellness, and they start, you know, ask, listen as well, right? They'll tell you, is your product good for this? Is your product good for that? I've got, I've got this issue. I've got a friend or my, my spouse has a problem. Or financially, they're looking to make some money, and this is a way for them to make some extra income whether it's a small amount or a big amount, all right? So I want to finish by just saying this. I hope, it's my hope, my wish, my prayer, my desire that all of you become incredible networkers. We know we have an awesome company, all right? We know we've got incredible products. And I'll say this, we have culture. Culture of longevity. Why? It begins at the top with the Lizenbees. They're the most loving, serving people you're going to find. They care about us. That's why they manage this company very well. That's why we have no debt, because they want to make sure that we're able to build a legacy. We're able to build something for not just for you. Think about this. Wouldn't it be amazing, incredible, awesome? For you to build a network to where when the day comes and you do step back, you've left something for your family. Let's say they're bringing in an extra five to $10,000 a month of income in your family. That's life changing. All right. That was my goal for my kids to leave them all with at least all of them with at least ten to $20,000 a month of residual income. And we've done that already. We did that back in 2006. All right. But the point is this. Build a legacy for your family. You can alter. And this I, I heard this from Paul Orbison, Jim Michael, by the way. You have the ability to change the course of your family, the entire future of your family by developing a long lasting network. That's what we have here, you guys. So develop those characteristics of a good networker. We know we have everything here. We've got a great company, great products, great opportunity, all right? So with that, 
I want to tell you all how much that Gabby and I love you, care about you. And frankly, that the per my purpose today, you know, in, in for life, why do I get up in the morning, get on these Zooms, talk to people all day, continue to work? Sure, I go to the beach. You know, I went to the beach over the weekend with Odin, you know, Gabby and I go places. We actually went to this place and had a fine, fine dinner in, in uh, right by the beach in San Diego a couple of nights ago. But to do it, the purpose that I have now is my desire for all of you to succeed. My desire is to see all of you climb that mountain of success to get to the top, whatever your goal is. All right. Everyone has different goals. All right. But who am I to judge anybody? I just want you all to achieve your dreams and your goals. And that's what gives me purpose. So thank you. Um, with that, I want to pass it to Gabby to finish up here. And we'll close it out. So again, we love you guys. We appreciate you. We thank you for being part of our Four Life family. Keep going. Keep growing. Be the best networker you can be. So, sweetie, I'll pass it to you. Okay. Good morning, everybody, or good evening, wherever in the world you are. Um, I just wanted to remind everybody that convention is April 24th to the 27th. 2024 in Salt Lake City. And of course, if you've been to convention, you know the routine, you um, sign up um, through corporate or through your app actually. And then you book your, your flight, you book your hotel. And um, so start saving up now, start um, planning it because um, April comes up pretty fast. We're already in July, so it's less than a year away. And you are going to want to attend. Um, it is so much fun. We get to see people from all over the world. Um, it's three days of just, you know, you know, learning and being being part of this growth that we are here for. Um, so if you haven't been to a convention here in the States, then, and if you have, please, we'd love to see you there. You are definitely going to love it. And for those of us that have won the gold, gold elite and platinums, the trip to Costa Rica is in November. So if you <laughs> need to update your passport, I think it's within six months or something like that, please do so. Um, I know I had to pay so much money to get my passport expedited um, our last trip last year to, uh, to Kabul. And you think, gosh, Kabul, gosh, it's an hour flight here from San Diego. But it was a beautiful, beautiful resort. And it was, it was nice to see a lot of our affiliates. I had not seen, we had not seen them in over three years because of COVID. So. I also want to remind everyone to promote your monthly product specials. Um, if you're in a country that has a corporate office, we have a monthly special. This is a great way to promote your products um, through your app link. And in this case, ours here in the U US is, um, is a July product special on our app is the Nutristart Vanilla Blue. Oh, gosh, I can't see that. Let me see. It's the for life collagen, transfer factor collagen type one and the flex for life capsules. You know, the flex for life is really good, especially if your um, joints and your basically your flexibility becomes more noticeable when you get up from your chair. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? If you feel aches and pains, and the collagen is really good for aches and pains too. Collagen type one. Remember, our, our second brain's in our gut. Well, our immune system basically is in our gut, but our gut feeds our brain too. So it's very important to take your collagen. And the Nutristart Blue Vanilla is very, very delicious. They've really put a lot of thought into making that product better for us. So please promote your specials and just promote every day, you know, through your social media, put links. If you 
If you've ever looked at my Instagram, I don't do it every day, which I try to before I get up. I try to put a link onto um, something I read an article on gut health and I post that, okay? Let's say I post something on gut health from a doctor, a reputable person that has an Instagram account. Then what I do is on my post, I post a link and a picture of the product with the name of the product. And then I post a link to my store on that post. So I don't necessarily post it on their, the doctor's post. I post it next to my, to the next, I post it next to, how can I say this? <laughs> my next post over will be my post, okay? So you can do that, you know, find something that relates to a product we have and then post your next post will be your post with the link to your store. And for me, um, you know, whoever sees my post will send me a question and, um, and maybe I will gain a new customer or new affiliate from that. Or maybe even the person that I posted from will be interested in my product. And, you know, those doctors are like so famous, they don't really think that there's something better than out there. So you just never know. Um, but for, with that, it's a new month, July. And gosh, I can't believe it's already July. And before we know it, it's going to be Double August. business build, build a bonus. Oh, yeah. Double builder bonus this month. Right. I saw something about that. Double build. Builder bonus. I just Nathan, I just confirmed with Nathan. So you guys step up. I mean, three people. If you've never got a bit you know, a business builder bonus before, all right, step up and get your three people and get that extra hundred dollars, or go up to level two and get extra four hundred dollars, or level three and get an extra one thousand six hundred dollars. You can do it. Yes. All right. Raise your hand if you've gotten a bonus like that since you've been with Four Life. Okay, well, let's strive to achieve that because it's, gosh, it's money, money, money. Who doesn't need it, right? Um, I was asking Nathan about um, a question on that, and he's not sure. So he'll come back. Maybe I'll find out. In, he's actually calling you know, next me. Time. <laughs> okay, well, with that, we I love and appreciate you. And remember, um, just go out there and promote and let people know how great what you're using today is like, I love the tools. So maybe you do a reel on that. You know, I mean, gosh, these are delicious little wafers. Sweetie, can you tell me the story of the first time that you tasted the wafer? You were at corporate and um, they gave you a sneak peek about it. Do you remember? I can't hear you. You're muted. No, I think he's talking to Nathan. I think he said, he, I'm talking to him right now. Oh, you have to tell the story. I thought he was trying. Well, the story goes that um, one of the corporate people, I'm not going to say the name, he told Dave, they are coming out with a chewable transfer factor. And it is so good. You've got to try it. And so they gave Dave a sneak peek when they weren't supposed to. But these are iconic. They're really delicious, and I actually love giving them out of samples, okay? So this is how I make my little sample. I put a few of them, and then I put a little label, and then I have to put how to use it because some people think you swallow them. No, you just chew them, and they're good. They're actually really good if your child has teeth and can chew, and um, so anyways, that's my sample. So if you want to learn how to make samples, please uh, write it on the chat and we can do that at another meeting. So with that, I'll turn it over back to Claudia or J. Michael. Thank you, Gabby. Let, let me ask Claudia, real quick, let me just answer one quick question. Avis asked when we became platinum. Avis, uh, we became platinum, Gabby and I, in 2006. We joined in 1998. And guess where, our, guess where I was when I got the phone call? Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, over there doing an event. And Nathan and Kevin Moore called me, woke me up in bed, middle of the night, and congratulated for, you know, us for making platinum. So yeah, it was uh, in 2006. 
So Claudia. Did I make the number wrong? Was that eight years or was it 10 years? Uh, eight years. Eight, okay, because I, I answered and I thought, oh, I don't remember, but I, I know it's eight. Okay, good. Yes, so the first thing, Michael, guess how many countries I counted that we have today? Today in our meeting. Today? Yes. Uh, gosh, uh, how about 12? I counted eight, uh, but I might be missing, oh, actually nine. So we have Malaysia, Tanzania, South Africa, Kenya, USA, Canada, UK, Spain, and Ecuador. So that's wow. actually quite nice because <laughs> that's, uh, I, I, normally we have about five. So today I have uh, counted nine with Kenya. So that that's one, but Gabby was right. I was just gonna add a few more, um, important things for this month, please. So I'm just gonna go back to a few that Gabby said, just to make sure that you're writing them down. Uh, North America, Africa has different, but for some of you in North America, offered of the month, collagen, neutral start and flex for life, $100 and it's 55 LP. It's actually a really good, good deal. The next thing I wanted to tell you, again, North America side, TF Lung. Wow, with that smoke here in Canada, Michael, and it's going down to you guys. There's so many fires. People are having a lot of problems breathing. So what a great product to receive. Free, free. It's a good, good one. Double bonus if you have qualified for the first time. So if you're qualifying for your 50, 100. If you're qualifying for 400, 800. And guess what? If you haven't qualified for that third one, Michael, how does that one sound? 800 times two, $1,600. <laughs> that, that's a really nice one. The next one is free sign up with the 200 LP points sign up. So uh, again, we just come from a free sign up month and we go free again, but this time with 200 points. Last two I have are the incentive. This is the last month to qualify for Alaska and uh, this one, actually, uh, for those of you that are doing transform, the transform continues. One more thing, IDs, Zoom IDs for the Zoom rooms have changed. So you have to go to Dave's calendar and I'm still doing some details. I want to acknowledge JT who took the time yesterday to check and found a few things that I need to switch and change. So thank you, JT. Uh, Sonia, who's not in the meeting today, is helping out with flyers. So we have this really good team going on of people being able to support uh, the admin team. So thank you for that, guys. So make sure that you go do that. Uh, Dr. Gina's team had grown, not grown, not the team, the room had grown to over 100. So he now has a new Zoom room, new Zoom ID. So be careful because all of his room has cha have changed, like to the new ID. And the other great change, Michael, did you know we now have a business opportunity with Michael and Kevin every Thursday? Oh, and you, and <laughs> you're Dave also doing Kevin. that. So Dave. we needed that, so it's great. But Dr. Gina still continue, but he's sorry for somebody that was writing me. I made a mistake and I put it weekly. Dr. Gina is bi-weekly, the BOP on Saturdays and talk with the coach is also bi-weekly. So actually, it's great. We have a lot of English events going on. You know, we can't compete with the 18 meetings in Spanish and the 25 in Portuguese. But we got about 12 meetings in English going on per week, Michael. What do you think Absolutely. about that? Uh, and, don't, and don't forget, one of my favorites is Health Talk Tuesdays with Dr. Adina. Yeah. And tomorrow, his topic, by the way, tomorrow is one of your and my favorites, gut microbiome. And uh, I don't know if some of you guys know, every January and every July, Judy and I do a 25-day cleanse and detox using our, uh, our, system, our the poor life system. So we're going to start ours when we receive it in a, another week or so. So, but, uh, so tomorrow's Health Talk Tuesday. Jump on there. That room gets filled up. Let's, let's get over 500 in there. <laughs> so, and yeah. by the way, and, the, and conventions, Gabby, you're right. I'm already counting down. I can't wait to get back to Salt Lake City. But I under who's who's here from Spain today? I think you said uh, we have our bronze Wilson Rocha. If I'm not mistaken, uh, so I just want to thank you for that, Michael. Yeah. Where is he? Is he still here? Because we're over the time. But I well, think real quickly, I just want to mention um, 
I believe they're having a uh, European convention in September yes. in Barcelona. So yes. that would be exciting. Judy and I almost thought about going and now, oh gosh, we can't, we could, can't do Listen, that. between the Dominican <laughs> Republic, Caribbean trip that they're having, and they, I don't even know to which well, someday, country one of my bu- <laughs> One of my bucket list is to go to a European convention. So Yes, but, definitely. Uh, so thank you for that, Gabby. Thank you. Avis actually wants you to uh, show her, but I think it'll be nice if you send her. I know you have Avis's number. Avis, does Gabby have your number? Because Avis, Avis wants to see your samples again. And Avis, we've done lots of trainings, but I'm going to ask Gabby to do it again this month on the week that we have a product. So she can show again and again those samples that people always love to see how Gabby does. Yeah, this. Let, let's do it. Let's do it that way because to to tell to to show everyone individually is more work than it is yes. to just show so in the room. <laughs> keep up with the chats and then you'll know when we're doing product. Normally when we do product, Gabby focuses a little bit on samples and um, and how to do those samplings from the big you know bottle because sometimes we're like, how do we sample? Well, so you know, I, I don't give samples for everything. Okay, so it's, it's, I'm just telling you, the samples I do give out are just the ones that, you know, are going to be like the chews, you know, I want to try the chews are really good or the Rio Vida chews. Um, I mean, if I give a sample on, let's say KBU, you, you really have to have a condition for it, or else you're not going to notice any difference. <laughs> I mean, I give you two, bo- two, whatever the dose on the bottle is, maybe four. So it's it's just the, the, the little things that, oh, these are yummy, and these are yummy, and wow, this tastes good. So that's what I make samples of. Thank you, Gabby. I actually forgot, Michael, one last thing, because we have been doing it in the chat, and it's to welcome our new people. So I was able to welcome new leaders, Jillian Murray from Canada. She's going back to St. Martin in a couple of weeks. But in a, she's been also a couple of meetings now, but uh, thank you, Jillian, for coming. And Ingrid Belen, who also is my new leader. But if you have a new person that is already signed up, let me know in the chat. But brand new person who's going to sign up 10 minutes from now, he'll be all registered and signed up. Kelvin from Tanzania has joined us. So Kelvin, welcome to this Zoom room. We're going to see you in a few minutes in a private room. But um, anybody else that is brand new that I don't want to forget and that you see that you invited here, let's not forget our guests because this is all about new and all about our guests. So yeah, nobody here. Okay, thank you, everybody. So it's time to close. Let's open up those mics to say hi to David. Gavi. Michael, help me. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Oh. Help me because I'm still, still working on how to get this computer. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, how do you open the mics again? Saludos especial desde Barcelona. Saludos para go. todos. Wilson, qué bueno tenerte aquí. Gracias. A ti Hi, por la everyone. invitación. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Gracias, Thank, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you from Guatemala. Oh, we had Guatemala. We had one more country, Michael. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank Goodbye. you, Michael. It's good to host you. Okay. Guatemala, there we go. Bye, Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye